The number you have dialed has been changed. All right, Flash Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to get started with a piece of software called FreeScan. Now, this will work good for uh, programming with using a USB to serial adapter, and it's plugged into the back of the uh, scanner. Now, in this particular scanner, we have a cable that can be plugged in the front or the back, but I'm just using the one that's in the back. So the first thing you'll want to do is download the FreeScan software, which I'll throw a link in the description for this. But we'll just come here and click on the zip and just download it. Then all we need to do is just install that, which is simple, just next, 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 and you're good to go. Now your USB driver, we can get from over here and here's the uh, drivers that supports the following uh, radios but uh, I'll throw a link in the on my website for that but uh, I just downloaded this one right here and it worked fine with uh, Windows 10 it's the PL2303 driver now this is for Vista but like I said I went ahead and downloaded it and it was fine and I'm running the 64-bit. So once you have that installed and the free scan installed, just bring it up and we're gonna click on this guy right here, download from scanner. Now that's gonna come up with this window. And what we're going to do is we'll check all these boxes here. Then we're gonna click on COM 10. Yours may be different. And as you can see, that's the only one that is showing. If you don't have one showing, you may want to hit the refresh. Then all we're going to do is we're going to click on the start auto. And we're going to let this find it. And if it comes up saying trying, that's a good thing. So we'll just set back, let it go. And it'll try a couple different speeds here. And as you can see, it has detected it, and it's ready to go. And it found that model number. So we'll just click on that. Then we'll just click on Start Download. And would you like to do that? We'll just say yes. And as you can see, it's starting to download. Now, if this is a fresh install, you may not have nothing here but we want to download we can download it anyway or if you want to download certain things and not all you can uncheck the ones that you want to do so now that we have the check arrow here we're just going to click close and as you can see we are back into the software here and if we just drop down here, you can see what I kind of did here with my setup. So we have the air band, then fire EMS, ham radio, miscellaneous type stuff, police, railroad, turnpike. I, a lot of departments in my area still use analog. Some of it's uh, digital, but a fair amount of it is uh, analog. One of the things that you can do is if you want to control your uh, scanner from free scan, we can go up here to scanner, control scanner, then we can just uh, start the virtual control. And there you go. As you can see, it's working. And we can just close it here and it'll throw us back onto this. All right, so what we can do, I'll show you here on how we can uh, copy and paste in the frequencies. So let's just create a new one and we're just going to name this test. And we're just going to let it at that. All right, so we just have our homemade uh, thing here for the purpose of the video. 
and we want to put in some frequency information so other than doing it by hand we're going to do the easy grab so now that we have that up we can close that let me pull this back up there we go so if we go over here to radio reference and say you want to copy these three frequencies in so we can just highlight that with our mouse right click copy then copy from clipboard then uh, since the frequencies are in this row we want to make sure that we have frequency selected and import into free scan so we'll just click OK click close and there we go that brought that information right in so we didn't have to do it by hand nor one at a time so anyway that is just kind of a start on how to get started with the free scan like I said I'll throw a link in the description to the website for all these links and information thanks for watching Stay tuned for another one.